What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Bundesliga Player of the Month card to review and it is going to be Nkunku, a player that's now won it twice and a player that has a stupid amount of cards in FIFA 22. I honestly cannot wait for his, uh, for his team of the season. His team of the season is about to be unreal. It probably could be one of the best team of the seasons that we have seen in FIFA history, just straight up, because he is such a nice all-rounded card. He's got 88 pace with 93 dribbling, 85 shooting, 79 defending, 91 passing with a 79 physicals as well. He's a five foot 10 player with medium, medium work rates, four star skill moves and a three star weak foot. Now the chem style, there's so many chem styles that you can use on this card. It really just depends where you're using him and how you want to use him as well. If you're playing him in like a cam position, let's say, and you don't really want a stupid amount of pace, but you want better long shots, the Hawk chem style is the way to go. It's just if you want more pace, then the Hunter chem style will be the way to go. But if you're playing him in like a center mid or even CDM position, then you obviously don't go for Hawk or Hunter. You might want to go for an anchor so you can give him the extra strength or even a shadow so you can give him, so you can give him the extra pace as well. So yeah, there's so many, so many chem styles that you can use on this card. It all depends depends how you want to use him now what i've gone for i've gone for the hawk chem style i feel like this card in a cam position just will be straight up unreal like his dribbling ability his dribbling ability on his first uh on his first play of the month card was amazing honestly amazing so yeah i'm expecting it to be really really good on this card as well but yeah the hawk cam style is uh just giving him the extra long shots like 99 shot power and 97 long shots we always know is going to be deadly especially with the finesse shot trait as well the finesse shot trait one of the best shooting traits uh this year you know you guys know with those kind of long shots it'll pretty much be flying in every single time but the hawk cam style doesn't just go ahead and give him shooting it also gives him pace as well so he's going to have 95 acceleration with 92 sprint speed while also boosting up the physicals he's going to have 82 jumping 82 strength with the 82 aggression as well not bad physicals at all for a cam i must admit now his passing ability his passing looks good now this is the thing right i know a lot of people or probably looking at that three star weak foot and they're like, mm, that three star weak foot, yeah, the passing with it may not be that good. Now, what I've obviously noticed with players that have got a three star weak foot, but has got really, really good passing, is the fact that the three star weak foot on it honestly is not that big of a deal. It doesn't feel like it's a three star weak foot because of how good the passing stats actually is. Every single time I've had like a player with a three star weak foot with really, really good passing, I've always tried to pass on that weaker foot and it's worked out perfectly fine. So, yeah, I don't believe the three star weak foot with the passing is going to be an issue i do believe though it is going to be an issue with the shooting ability dribbling ability really spoke about it he's got the lean body type it's a it's an amazing combination to have those kind of dribbling stats especially with the lean body type he's defending ability i mean without obviously a shadow chem style or even an anchor chem style it is actually still pretty decent he's got 79 interceptions 79 defensive awareness 82 standing tackling with the 80 slide tackling as well and we already spoke about the physicals i'm hoping he's a one of those uh one of those players that can hold off a lot of people you know not just one of those players that's going to get pushed to a side every single time hopefully the 82 aggression and 82 strength do work with each other now when it comes down to the links french that's uh, that's all you need to know you can clearly see i haven't even got a bundesliga player around him i've literally just got french players i've got ben yedda makalele and your boy mbappe to get him on full chemistry now positions I am going to be playing Nkunku in a striker and cam position with the Hawk chem style, but I am going to switch him to an anchor chem style halfway through this review so I can play him more in a sentiment position because I do want to know how he goes in for the tackle. So yeah, halfway through, I'll switch it to an anchor chem style and obviously move him into the sentiment position. But yeah, let's get into the let's get into the review and let's see how good this player of the month Nkunku is going to be. Kuwaitman, you're going to make a run there. You are. Pass it into the inside to Nkunku. Nice turn. Accelerate through the space as well. Is he going to come towards me? He isn't. He's going to allow me to have that much space inside his box. And Neuer does pull off a very, very nice save. He ain't going to leave, is he? No, I don't think he is. I'm just going to brawl well scoop this here if I can maybe pass this into the inside. Anyone going to give me the option? There you go. Good pass as well. Extra pass up and it's absolutely beautiful. I should have shot that towards the near post. I actually can't believe we scored it. I'll be honest, you guys. Like, I completely screwed up at the end. I should have 100% shot towards the near post there. But Nkunku still apparently made it go top bins. Scoop it. Go on, Mbappe. Use that pace. There you go, man. Straight past Sule. Just like that. Nkunku, I'm going to manual switch over to him. 
fade out a little bit. Is this guy going to come towards me? I'm going to trust into the three-star weak foot, and it's going to let me down. That's the thing, right? That three-star weak foot is going to be very annoying in those attacking areas because you know you can't really trust it too much, and that could have been a penalty. We'll roll that. Is he going to come towards me? He isn't going to come towards me. Look at the left stick dribbling, though. You see what I mean about his left stick dribbling? You see how fast it is? Like, look how close he keeps that ball to his feet. Nice skill move as well. It's just we couldn't get past Soyonku there. Go on, Yedda. He's in behind. No, that ball needs to be better, man. And Kunku in behind Verande. I actually didn't expect him to make that run. But it was a very, very good run. I'm trying to create, like, a finesse shot angle. But this guy doesn't want to give it to me, man. Yeah, he's trying to cover me too well. What's that forward? Ball roll. I'm going to just accelerate into the space. There you go. Keep it going. Keep it get going against Soyonku as well. And we do get a nice finish. I think he selected, by the way, the wrong player. I'm pretty sure he was meant to select the other center back. That's why he started running up. This guy's got a lot of players inside the box, man. Like, I'm trying to find like a gap over to maybe a Vinny, Makaleli, and Kunku. There you go. Nice space. Good lack of Keta. And I tried to go for that shot across goal. There's a massive gap there. Is Nkunku going to see it? He does see it, man. Just keep it going with the pace. Against Varane. Oh, he actually went for the cutback. And look at the outside foot shot trait come into play, man. That's why I love the outside foot shot trait there. Because if he just goes for a normal shot, the power is nowhere near as good. I see Nkunku up top. Driven it into him. Nice ruler as well to get past. Who is that? Is that Sambrotta? It is. Look at the pace though, man. This is with a Hawk chem style as well. Like, if he's on a Hunt chem style there, I feel like he just gets past Sambrotta so, so easily. Can we get a goal here? Nah, that's a good block to be fair. Fake shot that. Well played. Good roulette. Double roulette. Oh, that's beautiful. Pass it into the middle. No, no one went for a cutback. And I should have been a bit more patient there as well. Into Mbappe. Pass it as well before we end up losing that ball. Fake shot. And Conco on the edge of the box. It is green timed as well. And it doesn't actually go on target. It was close, but it, I feel like that needs to go in. You know, that's a good angle as well. This guy's pushing a lot of players forward. So we should be able to get him behind fairly easily and that was straight through the legs look at the pace though burber spin i can't believe this i actually got that but look at the pace man who we'll rolled that no the strength and he still got it la coqueta good turn oh my god we just can't create an angle right now it's like so many bodies are just in the way when you dribble round two there's still like two to go through Vinny, nice little run there and kunku making that run into the open space as well who we'll rolled that Issue is, I've only got one side that I can really turn on, but I'm going to trust in the freestyle weak foot. Please, man, there you go. This time, it actually goes into the back of the net. That's the issue of having like a freestyle weak foot player going forward. Sometimes you want to force it on one foot, but you just have to take the chances. I see Mbappe making a good run, but I'm not going to give it to him. I'm going to give it to Makaleli, give it into the inside to Nkunku. We'll roll that. Nice skill move to get past him. You know what? Let's see if this goes in. I'm just curious. I just want to see if a chip from that kind of angle was actually going to fly in. It wasn't a bad shot, though. Into the inside there. Good first time fake shot as well. And we're going to give this a go. It's a finesse shot. Green timed. And it smashes off the crossbar. I feel like we're getting so unlucky, man. There's so many, like, chances that are just hitting the crossbar. Some that keepers are saving as well. I'm just going to send him on a run. See if I can just use his pace to get in behind. He's tracking me pretty well, Desai. We got in for an early turn as well. Keep it going. Keep it going. All the way down. He thought we was going to go for that cutback. We ain't coming back. We're just going to continue running. Green time the shot as well. And look at that finish. Get onto that Nkunku. Don't allow that turn either. Putting that tackle. Well played, man. You see how he uses his strength there a little bit? Just to push off our off the ball. I have actually moved him now into a sentiment position, by the way. And uh, we have actually applied the anchor chem start onto the card. I've sent Vinny on a run. I'm going to go for one of these passes, man. Go on. Look at that pass. Look how perfect that pass actually is. Can we get a goal from this as well? I was about to say, referee. He's gone straight through the back of me. It was an amazing pass from Nkunku. But it's now time to take a penalty with him. He's got 74 penalties with 91 shot power. Not the greatest, man. Not the greatest. But we're still going to try to go top corner. And hopefully, it is going to fly into the back of the net. He even dived, and he got very close, but he didn't save it. I sent Vinny on a run again, but this time, we're going to do it on that freestyle weak foot. And look at that pass, man. Pass into the inside again. Oh, that's Yedda, yeah. Yedda, he ain't going to be winning no header anytime soon. Let's just put it that way, man. But you see the pass on that freestyle weak foot, and that's a good step from him as well. And that was a good interception. Yet is going to be in behind. There you go. Just go for a pass down the line with that freestyle weak foot. That freestyle weak foot has not let me down once, man. The pass has literally been perfect 
every single time. And that's a good skill move. That's a good green time finesse shot as well. And it doesn't go on target. Some things I would have finesse shots today. I'm telling you guys, there's no way, even with the Hawk Chem stole that I applied on him earlier, he couldn't even get it on target. Like, did they did they nerf uh did they nerf? Did they patch, sorry, finesse shots? Like what happened? Inside there? Oh, I tried to step up on that, and I actually thought he didn't get it. I thought I went way, way too wide, and then Kunku did get it for me. I see him on the edge of the box. I'm going to see if I can just get him to go onto this. Oh, actually, Mbappe's onto that. Flick it over. Flick it over, Nkunku. Oh, go on. Go on. What was the animation, by the way? I was expecting him to let it go a little bit further down, and then he just goes onto it. He kind of jumped up in the air to get that. Nice, good step. Burst through the space there. Well played. Just keep it going. Just keep it going. Look how fast he is, man. To have that kind of pace in that midfield is not a joke because you know you can just collect the ball with him, turn, and just go straight through gaps. Ball roll, and just go for an overtop through ball. Look at the passing, man. His passing is incredible. Those, those kind of passes is what you expect of like a team of the year card. And that is a driven pass, and he actually intercepts that. That looks that looked wide open as well. Just going to second man press this so he actually covers the back here. Is he going to turn again? He isn't. But we do step up onto that because we read that pass and we do come out with a ball. I'm just going to pass it back here. There's not really anyone to pass to down the line there. I'm just going to burst through the middle as well. Look at that, man. Keep it going and just pass across all the way to the back. Vinny, he ends up missing it. Mendy did well to get across his goal there and actually save that. He has a turn here, surely, right? No way he actually found that gap as well. But we did well to uh, transition with Nkunku and put in a very nice interception. There's a gap through the middle there. No extra pass there. Well played, Nkunku, man. I thought he was going to play that extra pass over to N'Golo Kante. But he actually took a touch into the space, which is something I definitely didn't expect. Either way, though, Nkunku was there to uh, clean it up, let's say. So it is time to review and we ended up playing six games of Nkunku and in those six games we came out with six goals and surprisingly we didn't get ourselves a single assist. Not one assist and you guys saw some of the passes this guy was doing. It was amazing even with a three star weak foot and that comes back to the thing I told you guys at the start where if a player has got a three star weak foot with those passing stats it doesn't feel like a three star weak foot it feels more like a four star weak foot if anything see so yeah, a passing on this card amazing drilling ability the lean body type the left stick drilling oh come on man the drilling was amazing to have on this card as well the shooting ability the three-star weak foot inside the box, very, very inconsistent as expected. Shooting on the stronger foot though, you can definitely tell that thing gets hit with so much power and so much accuracy where the keeper really has no chance of saving it. So yeah, shooting on the stronger foot inside the box, amazing. On that left foot, on that three-star weak foot, yeah, you can definitely tell it is a three-star weak foot when it comes down to the shooting. Long shots, I definitely do want to talk about long shots because the Hawk Hemstall, gives this guy a boost for the long shots and for the shot power as well and you guys saw the ball wasn't getting put on target it felt like it felt like the long shots just wasn't happening today and i definitely do feel like we have certain days like that in fever 22 where no matter who you shoot it with it just won't hit the target so yeah i feel like that was one of these days where no matter what angle i got in kunku in the long shot apparently just didn't want to go on target let alone into the back of the net so yeah the long shots i feel like we were just getting so unlucky with it the pace getting out the players is not an issue with this guy and you guys saw multiple times i was picking up the ball with this guy in the midfield and just going straight through spaces and that is something i do enjoy about him in that midfield i know i don't need to like sit back you know just sit around go for a few turns and just pass it away no i can pick up the ball with him and just go through those spaces with that kind of pace yeah pace loved it as well defending ability there were certain interceptions I wasn't really expecting him to get, but he actually reached out to it really, really well. And it just shows you guys that the 5 foot 10 height with the reach in that midfield isn't bad at all. He was wrapping his legs around certain players as well to put in very, very nice tackles. Yeah, defending also did really, really enjoy it, man. His transition speed, by the way, feels so smooth. It doesn't feel sluggish. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels really nice going left and right. And his physicals is the last thing to talk about. His strength... Being at 87 with the Anker Chem style, I'll be honest, you don't really feel like it is 87. Like, he's not a player to go up to someone and just completely bully him off the bully him off the ball, let's say. He's not that kind of person. The only time I actually noticed his strength was when it came down to shielding. When it came down to me holding that L trigger and just calming down the play. That's when you can tell that 87 strength is really, really nice to work with. Now, the price of the card, 300k. I'm actually so surprised 
this card is going for 300k. To be fair though, his headliner on the market is going for around like 270k. So I guess 300k was the correct pricing, let's say. It's just I knew this card was going to come out because it was rumored all over Twitter. And I thought this card was going to be like 400k, 500k, somewhere around there. So yeah, 300k, I definitely, definitely do believe it is worth it. Now, where would he go in the tier list? As an attacker, like a cam or striker, I'll be honest, he's an A plus card because of that shooting with that free star. It's like, it's not that great. So yeah, in the attacker's tier list, if you're playing him as like a cam or striker, I would say an A plus card. If we're playing him as a midfielder, though, he 100% deserves to go into the ST. 100%. With how he feels on the ball, with how he goes in for tackles, with his passing ability, his shooting ability as well as a midfielder, while also having a really, really nice amount of pace. Yeah. As a midfielder, aka a sentiment as CDM, I definitely, definitely would say he is an S tier card. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.